back I'm telling you where we were the debate is hitting it is heated fire yeah it's heated it's heated. heating it's heated it's heated yes welcome back we are with Dr. Steve from Pale Clear Scan Medical Solution Pale tunafanywa scans and um wanaume wanawake tunafanywa scan thyroid aga uh, breast breast abdomen <laughs> yani uko unaangaliwa kila kitu by yeah. the way it's a very it's a very uh, it's a clinic ambayo iko na kila kitu so wako pale um Lydia Kid room 105 first floor karibuni sana you get the best services you could ever ask for na si lazima ukuwe mgonjwa nena tu unaenda nena tu hapo unabisha daktari ni kama nataka leo tu nifanyie check up yeah Yeah, Not so November inafaa kwa watu awareness month ilikuwa October yeah breast hii inakuwa October eh hey. hakuna November ye yeah, tuta create yetu daktari lazima watu wakuje aina aina specific month ni yeah. tu that one is dedicated to yeah. that yeah. but sasa ukisikia utaenda kuangaliwa December mm. walk in waenda waangaliwe hapo yeah. ndio una down kwanza unafanya ladies unafanya check up unafanya check up una, ukisikia ni kama uko na kitu kana fura fura hivi lakini before ufike hapo siwende tu wana daktari <laughs> hapo yeah. clear scan surely eh. yes yes na tuwakumbushe tumesema tuko vacanza pa kwa kukaf after coffee you season. come in much much oh pajamas. yes after coffee after oh, coffee. actually i check to encourage the coffee part after yeah. coffee after coffee eh after coffee unajua coffee najua tu ile hapo sijio oh wewe unajua zaidi ya police kafi. 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 kafi sasa leo wametuambia kuna kafi ile ya kafi ya pete sasa yes so so after that ndio unakuja vacanza yes ku match pajamas unakuja ku match pajamas this, yeah, this festive season I'm Nasi, okay see festive season day. peke yake hata weekends anytime you want to like relax take a break from something if you're mm. traveling to nakuru or you are in nakuru tumesema ikonaka momento apartments, apartments. Yes. yes yeah and this place is beautiful nikiwaambia ah. evil <laughs> you already know guys na nimwambia umeza enda kwa instagram account yao at uh, at vacanza furnished apartments and you will see it for yourselves yes Yeah so on to where we had stopped Yes 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 Basic to me Mm hapo sana sana Hapo sana sana My husband are you watching <laughs> <laughs> What Basic to me Yes Yeah that time you tell us more tell us more Um Basic to me mm-hmm. uh, it's a male uh form of contraception yeah. ama njia ya wanaume kupanga uzazi mm-hmm. uh ukilinganisha na for female it's uh, equivalent to BTL I know most people know TL eh? what uh, no, BTL yeah nimepotea umepotea BTL nini ndio eh i don't think I'm gonna get TL to be potea you know TL no no tubal ligation bilateral tubal ligation ile ya kufunga mishipa oh ungesema hivyo ungesema hivyo last year sasa hiki zungu mingi majina kubwa eh majina kubwa kubwa BTL is common Isn't it not everybody? No, it's, not, it's not as common as you thought. Yeah. 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 Now they know. Yeah. Yeah. It's a permanent. Yeah. Uh, what mm-hmm. we call permanent uh, methods. Eh? Mm-hmm. And now that now is equivalent to vasectomy. Mm-hmm. Vasectomy again. Now your son ya wanaume. Mm-hmm. Uh, you just type the tubes or you cut the tubes that usually zinabeba mayai ya mwanaume kutoka huko chini mm-hmm. kuleta huko juu. Mm-hmm. So unafunga it's a, a permanent method. Mm-hmm. Um, of course men stay away from it and uh, but I like it nowadays I'm seeing Uh, now more men mm-hmm. are coming up mm-hmm. to mm-hmm. take up the, the 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 challenge and mm-hmm. do the family planning here yeah, over sector yeah? yeah and again as i said you find you might have your partner uh, unapata partner wako amejaribu hizo njia zote zingine zimekata na mtaki kuendelea mm-hmm. so hapo ndio men uh, now come in and they do the the, the vasectomy na inasaidia now you be supporting now your your partner at the yeah. same time mm-hmm. um unapanga uzazi Yes. But but wa well, kuna watu walikuwa wanasema eh vasectomy inaweza waharibu wanaume. Yes. Waharibu. Actually it's just that. Ah mm. <laughs> uh, kusema ukweli mm. haiharibu. Haiharibu. Uh, so it's a good method. It's a myth. Of... Yeah, it, it's, it's, it's a myth. It's a good method of family planning. It doesn't affect men at 
Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, in other in other areas. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes. So and to go back to the ladies, uh, mm -hmm. uh, I would want to ask Ju when you tulianza to kisema, unapata there are some speakers and actually some parents who have who surrender mm -hmm. and now they are advising their children to actually instead of getting pregnant when let them to nabadu jamaliza shule, it's all right. Actually unapata mzazi mm -hmm. anampeleka mtoto wake aende yeah. aeko shindano and everything and everything. And so coil nani? Yeah. So is there a right age? Yes. Yeah, kuanza easy vitu or is it just anyone who's waking up and you're thinking of it and you just go and do it? Mm -hmm. uh, I, that's why I, I mentioned uh, the fact that this is a very, it's a very delicate thing to talk about. Eh? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. If you ask me now from a professional perspective, yeah. yes, now as a professional, from my professional perspective, mm -hmm. yes. I, I would recommend that these family planning issues mm -hmm. be recommended mm -hmm. to even uh, to everybody. Yeah, mm -hmm. reason being, this, this would be the reason why I would say that mm -hmm. they don't use contraception. Mm -hmm. What they do next, eh? mm -hmm. they get the unwanted pregnancy. Yeah. After that, because they are scared of their parents getting the wind of it, mm -hmm. they go and procure an abortion. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Which mm -hmm. in most of the times is, not is safe. done in a very unsafe manner. Sure. In my practice, I've seen a lot of people, a lot of uh, young people. In fact, the, the majority are young. Yeah. Mm -hmm. That's why I say this thing is a very, it's very delicate to talk about it. Mm -hmm. But when you look at it now from a professional perspective, mm -hmm. if you don't offer them, they will do it. They will get the complications. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Then they will go ahead and procure uh, the, un, uh, the, the, the unsafe uh, abortions. Then it becomes even more mm -hmm. riskier. Mm -hmm. And again, we say, um, the, I said from the beginning that pregnancy is a risk. Mm -hmm. And yeah. it becomes more of a risk in the young generation, in mm -hmm. the young ones. Mm -hmm. So, talking about the right age, uh, right age is the reproductive age. Mm -hmm. A reproductive age begins as early as 12 years. And you can go as early as nine years because we have had a case of a pregnancy mm -hmm. at nine, uh, mm -hmm. nine years. Yeah. Uh, of course, that is a very young person. Yeah. Again, as I said, when you are offering this service or offering this kind of talks, mm -hmm. you look at that person when you are mm -hmm. individualize. Don't generalize. Kill them to na kujana needs that specific. Then you address them specifically. Yeah, I would want to be to make it clear for maybe those who are watching us. Ukisema reproductive years when a lady starts their menstrual. Menstrual circle. Yeah. Does that mean now that I'm in here? So that is the That's side. Yes. Okay. Oh, that, right. their that is it. That is it. Mm. They have gone into now the productive age. Yeah. So that some will get very early, others will get a bit uh, okay. late. Yeah. For yeah. average, 11 to 12 years, most of the ladies will have gone into the reproductive age. Mm. So for the for the, for the parents who have, um, okay, see, let me go to them at a vagina. So when do we start talking to them about the iso story kwa sababu au watu ni kama wanajua mingi kutuliko yeah i agree with you the, the, the exposure is just too uh, too much eh? mm -hmm. uh, online mm -hmm. and uh, they say that if you don't teach them the right thing at home they will be taught how to true mm -hmm. no no mm -hmm. because you love your girl or your young girl or your young uh, boy mm -hmm. when you kona kwa nyumba wewe utamuelimisha mm -hmm. kuna ule wa ule Hata yeah. Na wengi ni wale wata mm -hmm. So, wako kukosa kumuelimisha watu ulape ni zaat, hata funzo na wale. Then mm -hmm. I overheard the discussion. Mm -hmm. Like, yeah. I, you don't have a girlfriend. Yeah. What do you mean? Mm -hmm. yeah? You have not done this thing. What mm -hmm. do you mean? You mm -hmm. see? But if you had sat down with them before mm -hmm. they got exposed out there, mm -hmm. then they would be like, ah, and I know how to go. Yeah. So that is what I would encourage. Don't uh, I know it's a bit in the mm -hmm. Especially for yeah. African parents. Yes, for our setup is usually very hard. Mm -hmm. But the truth is that if we can engage them as early as possible, they're just get, getting to their teenage, mm -hmm. ten years and above, mm -hmm. then you are supposed to start talking to them about their reproductive health. But again I'm thinking, yeah, it's very important, Wazazi, it's high time we talk to our kids. I'm telling you. I was in the earlier discussion, I was telling them Google ndio itakuwa inawapea majibu. Mm -hmm. And um, to be very honest, there is no day Google itakupatia. It, okay, itakupatia vizuri, lakini hakuna siku Google itakuongelesha kama mzazi. Yeah. Sure. Like you sit her down unamwambia. And again schools, it is very important. Sindio doc. At least if schools they can now start this thing ya ku talking about, talking about, about it. Mm -hmm. Like where my girl goes to school, where alikuja akaniambia mam tuliambiwa. 
tusicheze na boys na you know at least ukimsikiza unasikia amefika ile ka stage ka anajua boys mm -mm. sahi ni boys wanaambiwa in fact wanaoneana view sasa ambe hi hi hakuna michezo mingi mm. so if the schools wanaweza introduce his story na wazazi tusiogope yeah especially wazazi them. actually and because we have uh, for the parents huh? mm -hmm. uh, you see now there's there's been this advocacy for mental health in mm -hmm. our country yeah. which is a very good, good thing in on the right uh, direction mm -hmm. uh, if you find that you as a parent you finding difficult kuongea na mtoto wako this counseling psychologist says wa major they yeah. have trained mm. they know how to go about it yeah. yeah and in fact if you find very hard those are the kind of people and even the, there was a time the government was proposing that we have these counselors in most of the schools yeah? mm. that was the reason right mm. they are employed by the county and the, uh, the government to take care of that eh? mm. so that they can educate these uh, young uh, boys and girls about these uh, matters we are talking about which mm. the parents might not be able to talk about yeah. but if a parents umejaribu kabisa umeshindwa usimwache hivyo haki mm. tafuta tu yeah. psychologist atam take through those steps and atajielewa because most of the time you know uh, the challenge with the teen is that they are in explorative uh, age they want to know everything they are mm -hmm. curious mm -hmm. you see so that curiosity those questions have to be answered mm -hmm. yeah mm -hmm. they have to answer them so mm -hmm. they either answer them from uh, their peers from google now it's available everywhere mm. Or now they get it from their own hands. So mm -hmm. the best thing is that as a parent, try as much as possible to talk about it. Mm -hmm. If you can't talk about it, engage the uh, counseling psychologist. Mm -hmm. They will talk about it and then they will, it will be off for you. But at least mtoto wako anajua kienda pale. This is what will happen. If I engage, if I play around boys, this is what likes to happen. Will happen. Um, the issue of pregnancy and diseases, I will tell you for sure. The young girls are fearing pregnancy than diseases. Yeah. True. Of which is that wrong. is a fact. True. Yeah. True. Yeah. But again, uh, you find that now the disease is even what is worse yeah. than mm -hmm. the pregnancy. Mm -hmm. Because the pregnancy you get, maybe you get a pregnancy and deliver, which yeah. we will want to encourage them not to. Yeah. In fact, that is the last thing that they should do mm -hmm. uh, when you are not ready for it. Mm -hmm. And I know that is usually the most, the, the basic reason why family planning comes in. Mm -hmm. You family plan to delay your getting your mm -hmm. pregnancy, you get it the right time. No, no. So if we can encourage them not to engage in anything that is going to lead them to get pregnant or mm -hmm. sexual behavior, then that's the best thing. But if we can, then we also need to educate them that they know. They be on the know that yeah. this is what's going to happen. But this is Zico. A quick one that is coming yes. in, eh? Mm -hmm. uh, as we finish, as we wrap up. Um cyst na fibroids. Hizo vitu zinaweza kosiwa na hizo nini? Hizo contraceptives. Fibroids? No. Cysts? Cysts, there is some possibility if they for uh, the prolonged exposure to especially the epils. I've seen a lot of people coming with them because of that exposure to epils. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yeah, but that does not mean that they are basically caused by the, uh, the family planning methods. Yeah. They occur naturally. This our sister happens, eh? and it's important that people know because I like answering this question that people don't get confused out there. Mm -hmm. uh, every lady, I like putting it this way: as long as you are within the reproductive age, you have a cyst in your ovary. If it is not there, you have a problem. Mm -hmm. Okay, this is what happens. Uh, during every cycle, mm -hmm. you develop four ova, ama mayaine, what you call graphene and follicle. Mm -hmm. Three of them they will regress. One will progress, will increase in size. It will mm -hmm. reach to about two, uh, almost two centimeters in size. Mm -hmm. Then that is what now releases the ovum, the myai. Mm -hmm. the mm -hmm. Then, so if I come and do a scan on you at that point, so when you're just about to ovulate, the mm -hmm. mm -hmm. it's about two centimeters. Mm -hmm. So that is harmless, right? So there is a, that cutoff, which is three centimeters. Now this is likely to be a problem. And again, that's not even a big problem. We just tell you, I watch an eye, petty time. Yeah. Come after a man, we check if it's continuing or mm -hmm. it's uh, uh, receding. Yeah? So if it's not so big, mm -hmm. there's no problem, right? Okay. So not everybody who has a cyst is a problem. Mm -hmm. And again, now I talked about a cyst and polycyst. Those are two different things. Because mm -hmm. mm -hmm. that would be my first question. Yeah. Mm -hmm. If it's one, it will be just one. The size is small, no problem. If there are policies now, that is now that one needs now attention. Mm -hmm. You know, in touch, my as in, we now to look at now the other factors. 
uko ume hard weight kwenye uko unataka ku hard weight uh, uko na excess nywele kwa mwili um, the periods zinaka for three months then mm-hmm. hikuji na kuja it's heavy it's, uh, it's painful those are the symptoms of polycyst mm-hmm. now that's a different type of cyst vis-a-vis the other one yenye ni moja now how harmful is it uh, which one that polycyst the polycyst yeah. the polycyst is the one which is said now people present with acne all those things yeah? uh-huh. i said uh, most of them will present with I mean, or, or prolonged periods of not get periods. The kikuja, they are very painful. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So that's why now they need some treatment. Eh? Mm-hmm. There are some who have, but they don't have those severe symptoms of the same. Mm-hmm. Yeah. So it depends again. Namtu wenye na kuja. Wengine watajua because wana kuwa kijaribu kupata miamba na wapati. Then you come with kwa yonango na doctor. Lazima tuangalia your ultras, we look at your ovaries, nini nini. Then find a scan. Then we come and then now you have mm-hmm. the policy. Ni naona daktari ako na masomo miji. Yo padding shop. Alafu hii story kama uko na page kwenye wanaweza kama wanaweza sana wakuja wa follow page wa na like, wakuja wa visit. Na wakuja wa visit. Hivyo inakuru make eh, time. Abu your padding shop where you can find you. Yeah my padding shop yes. yes. Uh health is well. Yes. Ni muhimu sana. Don't wait for the problems to begin you can mm-hmm. get your self check before the problem uh, uh get or set in mm-hmm. i usually have a page okay i have a page it's mm-hmm. called clear scan uh, on facebook mm-hmm. and uh, as you said i usually do some uh, educative material on that page mm-hmm. so if they visit clear scan uh, uh, facebook page mm-hmm. they're able to see some of the discussion that i have mm-hmm. uh, there about these policies about the seeds about uh, pregnancy mm-hmm. all those things they can find them there they read they like the page they subscribe and so what I endelea kusoma if they really need the, the scan they can always find me at uh, Kenyatta Avenue Nakuru Lydia Kid building uh, first floor room 105 it's written there clear scan medical solutions we provide solutions on medical issues mm-hmm. and on scan issues mm. nice mkiniona yeah. pale mnajua tu of course of course hazima tupatiane solution we're getting solution yes so yeah. uh mwende pale like the page follow the page visit the place visit the place <laughs> visit <laughs> the doctor and he will give you um solutions solution. yeah. yeah and as you get solutions come to vacanza and enjoy yourself so guys this has been a beautiful moment as always and we are so happy to be here educating you and uh, educating ourselves here because this is an education educative moment for us too and we're getting to learn a lot and we thank you so much for your feedback we appreciate it so much you can continue reaching us through facebook that is at mamlaka tv and on our sms number which is 0721899899 so till next time Adios. Adios. <laughs> yeah.